All right, my man, state your name. Let them know you on Nick Cavelli TV. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Taz, man. I'm on Nick Cavelli TV, man. That's what's up, man. Nick fan? No. Why not, man? Never been. Just you guys make too many bad decisions, man. Talk to me about them bad decisions you think the Knicks made. Well, this year, man, we going into the free agency market. You guys pick up pinch players. You pick up Julius Landy. You pick up... Uh, who else you guys pick up? Uh, Bobby Porter. You know, everybody don't want to go to the Knicks, man. It's bad because we're in a sad time when nobody want to be part of that franchise, legendary franchise. I think they're scared. You saying they don't want to come, they scared. I don't think it has nothing to do with scared because then why are they going to Brooklyn? Listen, you know why they going to Brooklyn? Because Brooklyn is building themselves up from, from nothing. They see the, what the Brooklyn Nets to me is doing. They're trying to be a franchise like the Knicks. They want to sell tickets right now. Right now, they weren't about selling tickets. Y'all getting gas for the ticket sales. Ain't nothing happening nah, with Kyrie and Kevin Durant going over to the Nets. Now y'all and, and, and now I got certain people on my channel who feel that Nick Cavelli ain't got the right to complain. Yeah, I was rooting for Kevin Durant to come to the New York Knicks. Everybody know that. Mm -hmm. Because I figure with Kevin Durant, his presence alone would have been good for the city. You know what I'm saying? He's already in the city now. Listen. He's in Brooklyn. He's now. in Brooklyn. Yes. Yes. He's in Brooklyn, but he's yes. not in the city. Let me tell you Listen, what you said yourself you're not a Knicks fan. No, I'm not. So him being in Brooklyn means nothing. It doesn't. But what no, I'm so, gonna... so why are you telling me about but, him being in Brooklyn what I when he should have been say... representing the city of New York? See, if he represented the city of New York, you probably would have had a different outlook. No, because anybody that represented the city of New York coming back to the world famous arena has been ridiculed because of your horrible ass owner. See, nobody want to play under him. I think that if you guys get rid of that owner, you guys will probably have players that come in. See, it's, it, it, it's, it's a domino effect. You know what I mean? Nobody as an athlete don't want to be under that scrutiny with that owner. He did Charles Oakley wrong. He's telling people that they can't hang signs. He's telling people that can't speak uh, uh, outright uh, uh, against him because of the fact that he's the owner. And that's not fair. A lot of people seeing that shit. So nobody want to be a part of that, le of that leadership. Okay, now, you know what? I, I can I can meet you halfway with that. I must admit that there has been some some fucked up decisions concerning the Knicks when it comes to James Dolan. You shit it on Patrick Ewing. I'll be the first yeah, to say that. Yeah. The Charles Oakley situation. Yes, yes. I, I mean, come on. I'm not senile or ignorant to the fact. Yes. But at the same time, we're talking about signing Kevin Durant to a max deal, one hundred and sixty-four million dollars for Max four years. Exactly, he's Why? on crushes. No, he's on crushes. On. We ain't doing for Chris Porzingis. We, we we listen. You know what the problem is? Everybody's looking at the New York Knicks as the same old New York Knicks. But, now, okay, let me let me say right, that. Let me say this. Where well, you mentioned the Knicks? Oh, I just got through interviewing somebody who said the Knicks is trash. But he couldn't name me five NBA players on the Knicks. Then he had the nerve to tell me he's an OKC fan. I said, give me five players of the OKC. Couldn't do that. So that just tells me that people run their mouth just to run their mouth. Because they think it's a trend thing to say. The Knicks suck. Why should we fucking sign somebody who's on fucking crushes? We no, learned no, our mistake no. from Chris Pazingas. Okay, so my question to you as a as a viable, undefeated, undisputed New York Knicks fan. I give you this example, right? You guys signed Julius Randle. You guys signed Bobby Portis. You guys signed those mediocre ball players to come to the world famous arena to win 20 games. You guys is not winning more than 20 games. I tell you that early. You're gonna go back to this shit and you're gonna see, oh man, this guy's telling the truth. You're not gonna win with RJ Barrett. He needs seasoning. Me seasoning. Not I think R.J. Barrett is underrated in the draft. He's personally. horrible. He's horrible. I'm telling you, he's horrible. First. What makes R.J. Barrett horrible when he's his horrible. game is being compared to so that of for Scottie Pippen and James no, Harden? No, because they all it's real easy to compare somebody. You know, they compare fucking Zion to fucking Barkley. It's real easy to compare somebody. Me, my question to you is when Michael Jordan took his leader absence and he came back to Washington, he got money for that because he was Michael Jordan. They didn't know that if he was going to be still skilled. They didn't know he was going to be the Michael Jordan, the old or new. He got his money. Now, you're telling me Kevin Durant with one injury, you trying to tell me he's not worth a max contract after winning two NBA championships the year before that? 
You try to tell me New York, that's how y'all really feeling? So y'all go out there and get a Julius Randle who's who's hurt too? You go out there and get a Bobby Portis who's not really that well known in the NBA? So you go out there and do all this shit to do what? You think ticket sales is going to move in New York for that? No, you know when they're going to move? When y'all play against somebody like a Zion. When y'all play against somebody like a fucking... Uh, Kyrie, when y'all play against those type of quality players, but New York, you know, you guys. New York is not worrying about ticket sales, man. We gonna get did. the stadiums gonna get packed, whether we win or lose. That's our curse right there. No, we gonna man. sell tickets regardless no, who's in the guys, fucking garden. Guys, but let me ask you a question, since you posed some on Nick and Valley. Yes, Kevin Durant. His, his contract, up and up with Golden State, was thirty-one million dollars. Okay. Then they gave him an extra fifty-seven mil on okay. top of the thirty-one, so okay. they could trade his ass off for Russell. For Russell, okay. for the Nets. So now that's 80-something million. Now you come to the Knicks, right? He could have made and, 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 and could have got some extra bag. He would have had over 200. How much money do you need? Michael Jordan, like I stated earlier on one of my videos, one of the greatest who ever did it, took pay cuts. Michael loved the game. Michael Jordan, it should have been no player who's getting paid higher than Michael Jordan at that time. But he wasn't ever, not one time, the highest paid basketball player. He took pay cuts because he said to himself, I want championships. What's up with these players where they don't give a fuck about nothing but the bag? The wow. love for the sport is gone, man. It's gone. First of all, it's a business. It, no, no, no. That's the problem. But what happened to the love of the game? Remember the commercial, I love this game? No, no, of course. You don't even see that shit no more because the fans know it's a fucking lie. All right, so. What happened to the commercial? What happened to that commercial? I love this game we call NBA. When's the last time you seen one? Because I never seen one in about 15 years. Why? Why is that? Because, because the players don't love the fucking game no the more. The owners don't either. No. The and now you got the either. fans. Hold up. And now it's getting now it's affecting to, now it's affecting the fans. Where now you don't even have diehard fans no more. That's where Nick Belly coming at. Because I hit the streets, man. I hit the streets. I keep the shit raw, authentic, so people can listen. You might hear a fucking fire truck in the background. Just like I'm talking to you right now, right? Uh -huh. We in the street. Fire truck go by. We're going to shut the fuck up. Let the truck go. He keeps it real. This is hood shit right here. That's why I do this shit, man. But I'm too real for certain motherfuckers I see, man. Because yeah. they think I'm supposed to fucking go with everything. Listen, I could love you today and disagree with you tomorrow. Yeah, I was all for Kevin Durant on Monday. But once he made that bullshit move on Tuesday, I'm saying fuck that. If it what don't make it? sense... He didn't take the fucking so, deal no, the no, Knicks was on. offering. He wanted a max deal. Fuck his max okay, deal. No, no, on, He's on, on crushes. Hold on, hold we on. shouldn't sign nobody who's on crushes, man. It's he got no, hurt no, with Golden State no. Warriors. He's not even that. F Come on, man. There's no Come way. On. My thing to Can you Can you look in the camera, please? My thing to you Sorry. guys is, you guys always talking this, a guy should take this. Or a guy is obligated because he's hurt that he should get a limited amount of money because he has an injury. That's not fair. And that's not fair to the individual with what he did two years ago, with what he brought to that Golden State Warrior team outside of what they had before. He brought a whole different dynamic to that Golden State Warrior team. Now you expect him because you're a loyal New York Knicks fan, which fucking New York has been poisonous with all their players for almost 20 years, going back to Patrick Ewing, going back to John Starks, going back to... Pat, Pat Riley, going back to fucking Van, uh, Van Gundy, going back to all these coaches and players, you expect Kevin Durant, who's at the highlight of his game, to take a limited pay cut because he's supposed to, because it's New York? No. I, I, you ain't hear me say no, that, bro. No, because what he could do is go to Brooklyn, who's regrouping, right? Owner who's giving everything to his players, who's respecting his players. When well, you got an owner who's not really respecting his past players, so why would you expect him to respect his present players? New York, as after this year's draft, after this year's free agency, there's no way the New York Knicks will regroup ever again. You hear it from me first. You have to change leadership. You have to change owners. If you guys excel this guy out of ownership, he will. New York Knicks will be back on top. But until then, you guys will be mediocre. Mellow. You treated Mellow like shit. Mellow left. You treated so many players like shit, and they had to move on. And everybody that moves on, 
I repeat this. Everybody that moves on from the New York Knicks does better. If you don't believe me, I can go down a fucking list for you. Answer me. Answer me. I'm lying. I have a list for you. I have a huge list. Everybody that moves away plays better. Does that make you right? No, I just think that ownership is bad. Does and I, once ownership again, is bad. Once again, you're not gonna get an argument from me. James okay. Dolan is not the best, but I stand by Dolan when it comes to signing Kevin Durant to 164 million dollars so when he's on crushes. Okay. Now, when I said, why not Kyrie? Now, listen. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let, 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 wait, wait. Let me end this, and then we go to the Kyrie. Okay. I even said in one of my videos. When Kevin Durant was with Golden State, I said, take the fucking money, then bounce, since they want to give you the option to leave with the $57 million. So it's not about the money when it came to him going to so take their money. But now, when you come to the Knicks, that's more reason why it shouldn't have been about the bag in New York. You but you already took the bag. You, you already took the bag. Now this man got, he got hatred in OKC. They don't like him. They don't got hatred in New York. 